Let's learn three ways to make the scroll progress indicator. At a high level, it's simple. We need to make a value start at zero when we're at the top of our page and should cap out at 100 when we're at the height of our page minus the height of our viewport. Then we can use this value to show things like percent scrolled or use it to set the width of a progress bar. In view, we can set up a scroll percent ref. Then when our component is mounted, we can add a scroll event listener where we get the window.scrolly and divide it by the height of our page minus that inner height. Then our template, we need a full length div to create like a track for our progress bar. And then inside this we can create the actual indicator by dynamically binding a width property to our scroll percent. And then finally, we have to be sure that when our component is unmounted, we remove our event listener. And just like that, we manually set up our scroll indicator. We can make this even easier by using the view use library. It has a use scroll composable that automatically adds and removes an event listener, and we can use its Y value and pass it to a computer that uses the same logic to determine the percent scrolled. And finally, we can use the motion view library to add some nice animations to the progress bar. It has its own use scroll composable that gives us scroll Y progress, which we can then pass to the use spring composable, which gives us some properties to control the easing behavior between two values. Finally, we can use this use motion value event function to detect changes to scroll by spring and then set it to our original scroll percent ref. And now as we scroll our page, we'll get some nice easing behavior in the progress bar. Then as a nice final touch, we can change our solid color to a gradient where we hard set the background size to be the full width. And now I think this looks all right.